this weekend we took Diana's parents out for a sail. After a quick sail, we returned to dock to begin the arduous task of removing Rhapsody's name. We used a heat gun, some plastic scrapers, goo gone, and a lot of elbow grease to get the old name off. We are still in the process of taking the name off. So we, uh, Thanks to everyone at the marina, we got some reinforcements, some rubbing compound, and a razor blade. So we'll see if that helps get rid of the shadow. And what do we have left to do? <laughs> All of these letters on the other side. <laughs> and then we get to rename her cats away. Yep. <laughs> the next day, Dan and his parents went home and we went out for another sail. We had done some research on how to best sail a catamaran, so we decided to try and sail her at a beam reach to see if she would reach her optimal speed. Although she was flying super fast with uh, 17 knot winds, we did notice that she struggled to go upwind. And in fact, even though we were tacking and turning into the wind, we were eventually getting blown backwards. The addition of using centerboards didn't seem to stop the leeway motion. We were also curious to see how much the boat was healing, so we bought a small tool so we could keep an eye on it. We just um, docked on a really windy day. We had probably 20 knots of wind, and she was flying along uh, on sail at about probably eight knots. We got her over eight knots for the first time. Um, but coming into the marina, I underestimated how much wind was blowing, and I put her into neutral a little too soon, so she got blown to one of the sides. And we don't have that much room in between the boats at our marina, so we ended up really close to the boats on our starboard side. It was a little stressful when the boats, uh, boats are heavy, uh, so I was pushing away. Yeah, we we're pushing away some boats. At the time, there was no one on the dock to help us, uh, and we have become accustomed to, uh, <laughs> to having some help, and this was a particular windy day. Uh, anyway, Diana did smashingly. Um, I'm really proud of her. And, um, we backed up and we tried again and the second time we had some help on the dock but uh, truth be told I don't think we even needed it the second time. They were definitely helpful. It was very helpful. The wind is no joke right now. But uh, I mean I mean to say Diana's uh, skill had already improved after one, uh, after one attempt. You live, you learn. <laughs> um, on another note, our exit from the dock, there was only the two of us and that went great. That went very smooth. <laughs> so. One out of two. Well, Winning. two out of three. <laughs> um, and uh, after the the stress of pushing anchors away from the boat, we're uh, we're having a beer. I think a well-deserved beer. Yeah. Thank you, Stiegel. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>